I will have several students that wish to keep their binders entirely within OneNote, um, especially those with tablet devices, and that is fine. Um, if I go down to any student here, um, we'll pick, um, oh, I know, we'll pick Arden Armstrong. If um, she would like to open up an additional um, section, all she has to do is just add a section in there and she can start creating chapter sections however she wants. Um, she could actually go up to the content library, which she would have access to, and kind of highlight and copy paste anything from a content library over to her own. So it's very, very easy to do this even section by section or page by page, um, however she wants to organize um, herself, as it is for any of you if you wish to have more sections than the ones that I've distributed. The sections that I've distributed are my homework passing outs. So, this, or homework, these are my collections. So this is where you would put assignments, this is where we're gonna be putting our exit quizzes, and this is where we're gonna be putting our assessments. And I'll start to fill in more, set, more tabs, uh, these are called pages, more pages every time we um, start a new chapter, you'll, you'll see this populate more and more. So this is everything that you turn in. But if you want to have more of your own system as well in there, you can. Um, if I go to my Calc BC binder, for instance, um, these, these were my students last year, so I kept the same binder going, but I'm going to show, um, for instance, Kate Christ has her own sections in addition to the ones that I've distributed. And these are for her notes um, and um, kind of her own organization of being able to go back and do this. So that is an option for you uh, if you want to have your own binder. And if you need to have further discussions with me about it, I am very available.